Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm the host of Everyday Science TV. I'm here at Planet Fest in Pasadena, California with one of my biggest idols and one of the most well-known and respected science educators of our time, Bill Nye. Thank you very much, Jessica. Thank you. I, I have a, a kind of a space-related question, but not related to Mars, related to Pluto. Actually, in 2006, you supported the declassification of Pluto to a dwarf planet. Now that we just discovered a fifth moon on Pluto, do you think that this is going to change anything? Probably not. But in the future, maybe could this classification for those Pluto enthusiasts be put back to planet? I hope not, frankly. I mean, if, if the International Astronomical Union insists that it be a planet, I'll go on. It's fine. It's not that killer to me. Uh, there are certain people in the profession who think that Pluto must be a planet or worthy of war. Like, uh, I don't know if, how much of a student you are of Gulliver's Travels, but you may recall where the Lilliputians had a war about which end of the soft-boiled egg to open. Okay. This was sort of the small or the big. This was a big issue for the Lilliputians. Anyway, I like the expression plutoid. So... Then for the planets, I strongly encourage the use of an adjective. We will have the traditional planets. And the traditional planets are a result of history. So it's not a result of who's big or who's small or who clears out his or her orbit or who's got ice or what the heck. Traditionally, historically, in order of discovery, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, those would be traditional planets. Then Pluto instead of being the last of the traditional planets, is now the first of a new class of objects called the Plutoids. The Plutoids. And if the astronomical unit wants them to be dwarf planets, okay, they can be dwarf planets. But I like Plutoid. I like Plutoid, too. <laughs> either way, they're fascinating. And we are all living at a time when a spacecraft is going to go by their New Horizons in 2015 and get these extraordinary pictures, which will give us further insight into our place in space.